Hey, what's up guys? Josh from ProBuilt and welcome back. Today we are doing another Rating Your Rig. We're gonna be doing it virtually this time and we have with us our videographer, Jacob. Jacob just got the, the off-road bug and Jacob's fairly new to off-roading. Um, he came on to trail build about, well, four or five months ago um, from actually the car scene to help us out do some videoing and videographer stuff and uh, we do we do a number of shoots where we're you know off-roading doing promo vids or product videos and this is the first uh, exposure that Jacob has, has had to off-roading and it's it's quite funny watching him get that bug of uh, wanting to go off-road he's got a Kia that he picked up for like 400 bucks it's it's all-wheel drive and he just takes that thing and just every time we hit hit the off-road place where we go he just he floors it and he goes hits the hills right away and goes gets the gets that bug out, gets that itch scratched right away, and then and then we finally get to actually doing some videoing. And so it's it's pretty cool watching him transition and evolve into the off-roading uh, world, basically. So with that said, let's go. So first on our list, we have a 2009, it's a Jeep Wrangler two-door, so it's, it's a JK, um, has the 17-inch Vision Max competition and they're eight and a half wide with a negative 15 offset and wrapped around them they have the cooper discover the stt pro in a 40 inch by 13 and a half wide so pretty decent setup already right there with the wheels and tires and then a six inch bds suspension lift so already pretty sweet pretty beefy let's go ahead and let's go through these pictures what's the first thing you notice yeah. on here jacob he definitely takes this thing off road i can appreciate that Pretty decent setup all the way around. And it looks like there are coilovers on there with uh, remote resi reservoirs and front recovery bumper. There's um, hydraulic assist steering, rear recovery bumper, LED lights, and it looks like what must, might possibly be even one tons underneath it. Check out those limb risers seen those a lot lately yeah those are pretty sweet and the snorkel also has the uh has an f-350 a ford f-350 super duty front axle and then in the back he's got a shaved 14 bolt rear axle and then a 10 inch overall wheelbase stretch so i bet you this thing's just a beast off-road it sure looks like it is he definitely uses and abuses yeah. this thing yeah, and that's that's what's cool about these pictures. As we were getting, at, you know, as we were picking them out, we were looking for those pictures that were off road. So, you know, obviously, being in the off road business, we love to see gallery pictures uploaded that are of off roading. So, definitely a nice job here with the pictures. Do you have a number already, Jacob? I have one last question. I don't know much about Jeeps, but that rear fender looks like it's cut out. Is that true? Yep, it's it's basically like a high clearance, like a, a do-it-yourself high clearance cutout for the rear fenders. He did a clean job. All right, so yeah, I'll go ahead, I'll count down, and on three, two, one, nine. Eight. Why did you give it an eight? <laughs> uh, I gave it an eight because it looks like it's pretty built up. He's got some great quality pictures. He's done a lot of work to this vehicle and he definitely uses it. The only thing is I like how he cut out those rear fenders, but something throws me off with having the fender flares up front, but nothing in the rear. It just doesn't look unison to me. I would have somehow found a way to put a flare over that or maybe cut it a little less to the top. I don't know if he was doing that for clearance. I'm assuming so. I mean, in the lowered car scene, you got to cut part your fenders too to stuff the tires up in there. So I'm sure that was for clearance. But other than that, there's not much to complain about this vehicle. That's why I figured you gave it an A because it definitely looks, you know, super capable. And plus, you know, having those off-road pictures of it in action, you know, twisting out on the rocks, flexing up the RTI ramp. And, uh, and I see what you're saying there with the rear fenders being cut out. It almost looks like, you know, maybe just before these pictures were taken, the rear fenders were clearanced, you know, and there could be future plans to put something around those. But... You know, having a 10 inch stretch on there, um, there are some aftermarket support fenders available, but really you gotta open up those fenders quite a bit with the coilovers. It looks like they're mounted a little bit higher. 
you know, so gives it that extra flex to keep those tires planted when off-roading. So um, probably some future plans in there for high clearance fenders. But yeah, overall, really clean build, really nice build. Uh, looks super capable and I love the pictures too. Definitely love any pictures that are shown off-road. So that's why I gave it a nine. All right, so next we have a 2015. It's a Jeep Wrangler JKU, so four-door. Base uh, has the Deviate off-road, the 886, 17 by nines. Now these are negative 12 offset and has Milestar Patagonia's, the mud terrain 37 by 12 and a half wides. And then it has a mixed suspension, four and a half inch lift. So another picture right off the bat where we have, you know, flexing on a stump and uh, also looks like one that has quite a bit done to it as well. And this guy gets his uh, rig dirty too. You can tell that in that picture right there. Whole thing looks brown. Couldn't even tell it's blue. And then it looks like has the Terraflex dual rate front sway bar, Terraflex trail rate rear sway bar, and then Falcon, the 3.2 series shocks. It's got Eaton E lockers, 456 gears. Can't pronounce the next word, so that's for you, Josh. The Falcon steering stabilizer, front axle housing has been trussed, gusseted, and sleeved. And then Adams drive shaft, both front and rear. And then uh, rear bumpers, rear bu front and rear bumpers, sliders, tire carrier, and winch. Yeah, he's got this thing pretty built up. Yeah, pretty nice. Definitely looks capable. Okay, so three, two, one, six. eight. I rated this a six because personally, I like to see a little more meteor tires and wheels. It seems like these tires and wheels are a little on the skinny side for my liking. Also, I'm not really a fan of throwing stickers all over the, the fenders and corner panels. I just, I think it just kind of ruins that clean look to a rig or a car, vehicle, whatever it is. I like that he's got this thing all built up. He's got the drivetrain all beefed up. I would like to see more LED lighting. It looks like he's got the old halogen front bulbs on there. I think when you put the LED lights in there, it definitely gives it a more aggressive look. Yeah, I see what you're saying with the lights. I actually had those same lights on my XJ, my Cherokee Sport, and they're super bright. It was pretty amazing how much they lit up the nighttime as if it was like daytime. But yeah, I see what you're saying too with the tires. The, the Milestar Patagonias, they've always looked like their tread is a little bit narrower than you know what they would be advertised as. So I can see where you're definitely coming from there. And plus when you air down too, you know, obviously you get a lot more, like the tire will flex as you air down, as you let the air out. So you'll get a lot more contact patch, you know, which gives you a better or bigger or larger footprint too. And then plus with this, you know, tires being a little bit more narrow when you're on road, it helps reduce some of that road noise and, uh, and helps that pressure per square inch contact patch on the road. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of cool stuff done to this. I like the bumper. The bumper's kind of got that nice slim sort of uh, tucked in look to it. It's not sticking out, you know, over the tires. Uh, it's got the winch, the synthetic rope, um, you know, the, the suspension looks pretty beefy. 37 inch tires on a JKU is pretty good. So yeah, I gave it, uh, I gave it an eight for those reasons and um, pretty decent rig, so. Let's see, let's see what we have next, shall we? All right, check this thing out. Oh, so this. Wow, <laughs> I like this. Yeah, this is pretty wild. It's a 79 Ford F-150, and this one has the BART Super Trucker 15 by 12 wides, negative 80 offset. And then it has Super Swamper, the TSL Boggers, 44 by 18 and a half, and then a Super Lift nine inch suspension. So. Right off the bat, this thing tells me mud. This, this is a mud truck. This is definitely built for mud bogging, for swamps, for, for that kind of stuff. But he's, he's got it out here. He's got off-road pictures and uh, looks pretty good for a 79. Um, definitely has some nice sparkle there. And it look, you know, it's a mud truck. It's, it, you know, 44 inch boggers on 15 inch wheels. You know, that's, that, that screams mud bogging. I love this thing. I, I love it when someone takes a unique vehicle and modifies it. No matter if it's truck, car, SUV, whatever it is, I love seeing vehicles that 
aren't supposed to look like this. I personally drive a Mazda that's lowered and not many people modify those. So to see somebody take a 1979 Ford F-150 and make it into a mug bogger, that's my style. It's not something you see every day. So I like to see something different. It, uh, you know, the old F-150s, they, they always had a cool look to me. You know, I always thought they had a really, you know, like kind of like a beefy look to them, old school style. You know, I've, I've always liked yeah. the old Fords. They look real aggressive, especially with that square body to it and the front end kind of like sloping down. It just looks mean coming at you. I'm a huge fan for square, square kind of front ends. Yeah, very cool. I, I like the truck. Um, not a whole lot of pictures. There's a couple of pictures here and a little bit of a description. It has the 472 big block Ford. It has a Dana 60 front axle with the kingpin um, outers on it and a Sterling 10 and a half in the rear. So that's it for um, the description. Suspension's got a nine inch super lift, leaf springs, rear shackle flip, custom front spring perches, and a three inch body lift on top of that. So other than that, a couple of pictures. Uh, I don't know if you already, do you already have a number picked out for this one, Jacob? I had a number and then I heard body lift. So let's go. That might deduct a few. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll count down and uh, See what we get. So three, two, one, five, nine. I was gonna rate this a 10, but then I heard body lift. I'm, I'm not a real big fan of body lifts. I think if you lift a vehicle, you should do it with a suspension, not lift the bo the frame from, I mean, not lift the body off the frame. Just, it doesn't do anything to me. I, it's, it's just like cutting your springs if you want to lower a car. I would never do that. So I had to deduct a point there, but the reason I rate it so high is because I love seeing unique vehicles. So this one would be a nine for me. Yeah, and I gave it a five. I'm not much of a, I'm not much of a mud guy. You know, I don't, I don't really care for all the cleanup, you know, and all the, you know, just the way you have to build a mud truck. I mean, it's high horsepower, it's wheel speed, you know, it's, it's lots of lift. Whereas, you know, I like a lower center of gravity, don't need a whole lot of wheel speed. I mean, sometimes, obviously, being in Wisconsin, you get all kinds of terrain, but, you know, 44-inch tires and, um, you know, and the type of lift. I mean, it's a cool-looking truck. I just, I'm not really into that mud thing too much. Plus, I, I, you know, I definitely see where you're going with that three-inch body lift on there. You know, it causes a lot more stress and a lot more strain on those body mounts. Um, but if you were to keep, like, the center of gravity a little bit lower, you could keep, you know, keep the engine and transmission mounted and the frame just a little bit lower and still increase the you know clearance for the tires if you do a body lift but if you re you know if you reinforce it and support those body lifts you know they're uh, they're not so bad that way but otherwise overall it's a cool looking truck I definitely you know think it looks pretty badass so all right so moving on next looks like we have a 2012 Jeep Wrangler a JKU has the moto metals, the MO962s, 17 by 10s, negative 24 offset, and Cooper, the Discover STT Pros, another awesome tire, 37 inch by 13 and a half wide, and then uh, it says other suspension lift, four and a half inches. So right off the bat, looking at these pictures, um, this thing's pretty cool. In fact, uh, he's got some really good flex. I know this rig. I was gonna. I'm just gonna I know ask this you. Rig, Josh. <laughs> I threw this in there I to see. I feel like I've filmed this before. So we did a spotlight on this rig, um, what, maybe a few weeks ago or something. Had quite a bit of work done to it, lots of flex. Um, in fact, we'll put a link right here to the card, to the uh, video of the spotlight. But Chris has got a lot of, lot of work done to this. Um, has the 37-inch uh, STT Pros, which are absolutely phenomenal tire, and, and takes this rig all over the place. Um, did really well too when he, when we did the flex test on it. I don't remember the exact number. I'm sure Chris remembers, but I don't remember exactly what the number was, but it definitely flexes out quite a bit. Yeah, this thing looks mean. I know the off-road guys aren't much of a fan of those angry eye grills, but I love them. I love an aggressive front end. And then with the, uh, these guys fenders trimmed, or th those are metal, weren't they? Yep. Those give it more of an aggressive look too. He's got the lighting up front, front bumper, winch, I like the back bumper, how it's got the holes drilled out through it. Gives it more of an aggressive feel and definitely love the slam back. 
Nice kind of a muscular, more bolder military style look to it. Yeah, and we've been wheeling a few times with Chris and uh, he always does a nice job at, at capturing video and pictures as well. Let's see, what else can we tell about it? It's got the, the angry gear, it's got the upper high clearance, the metal fenders, the it's got the metal cloak suspension in it. It's got the light bar in the back too. Yep, light bar in the back. It's got the full, the full roll cage in it as well. He has a spare tire mounted inside, right? Yep, that's correct. I like that, that gives it a clean look too. Right, yeah, I like it. Plus, you know, putting the spare tire inside you know, yeah, it does take up that cargo carrying capacity that you would normally have for, you know, whatever gear, recovery gear, coolers, um, you know, camping gear, anything like that. But then you have one less thing sticking outside of the vehicle that can get hung up on trails or when you're dropping off of a, like a rock ledge or something like that. It's just less prone, you know, to getting hung up or even damage. Three, two, one, nine and a half. 9.725. <laughs> 9.725. Very nice. I, I, I met Chris, so I can't give him a 10. Love it. Chris is making us an RTI ramp, so I'm a little biased that way because he's helping us out with that. Yeah, I like this thing. Like I said before, I love the slam back. I love the angry eye grill. I like the um, metal uh, high clearance fenders. He's got the LED lighting. He's got the spare tire tucked in the back. This thing just is mean and aggressive. It's clean and I'm a huge fan. All right, guys. Well, that has been another Rating Your Rigs, this time for the first time of virtual Rating Your Rigs from the gallery. And if you guys haven't already uploaded your rigs to the gallery, it's really easy to do. Just head on over to trailbuiltoffroad.com. Look for the gallery button on the menu bar. And then from there, just upload some really good pictures and a really good description as well. So besides that, uh, we definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, thumbs up to like the video. As always, we appreciate all of you for watching. I'm Josh from Trailbuilt. This is Jacob from Trailbuilt. And we'll see you guys out, out on, on the, the trails. Trail.